Now, there's a survey underway to ask about the potential reopening of one of Devon's long-closed railway stations. I did the maths, I think it's 57 years since a train last called at Brent Station. Uh, it served the village of South Brent from 1848 to 1964. Now, the government's created a fund, as I understand it, aimed at paying for feasibility studies to explore the issue. Uh, this is something, as I understand it, you are in favour of. residents of Brent and the surrounding areas is to get an understanding of what they want and what will suit their needs. You know, trains still run through the old South Brent station and it's really looking at the opportunity to be able to reopen it, to be able to bring a new generation of tourists down here who leave their cars behind and come on foot and use public transport. Um, and it's really a gateway station, if you think about it, because from Brent you can get up into Dartmoor and you could possibly in the future walk down to Kingsbridge on the Primrose walking line. Now, of course, this is not a, uh, a line that's been closed. The line still exists. It's the main line between Exeter and Plymouth and going on to all points south and west. Uh, so you wouldn't have to lay any fresh track to do this. Would it nonetheless be an expensive operation? station is still there so it would require revamping that and making sure that we could find suitable homes with it for the businesses that are currently based in in that old station um, but the important point is to make sure that this station serves the meet needs of the local community that this doesn't turn into some parkway station um, it keeps the sort of the fabric and the the beauty of brent together um, but also allows people to lessen their environmental pollution but also um, use use their sort of you know the natural public transport links that are there the line between Exeter and Plymouth is already not particularly fast. Um, the trains are, are, are run at a good speed as far as Exeter and then after that they slow down. Presumably adding another station halt uh, to that line would make the existing trains a little bit slower going from Exeter to Plymouth and, and all points beyond. It absolutely would, but in certain cases. But the point is, is that we're pushing to take a feasibility study so we can look at these issues so that we can address them and whether or not we can find ways in which we can speed up some trains, slow some down. That's that's really what we're trying to do. And of course, you know, this is not about sort of running ahead and trying to do something without consulting people. It's about engaging with the local community and seeing what works best for them. We know that this summer we're going to have lots of people coming down and in future years, domestic tourism is likely to be very high. Mm. Um, so try, trying to have a forward look approach and have the infrastructure there to be able to cater to these needs would be a really really good and proficient way of, of welcoming people to a very special part of the country what's your gut feeling anton it could it happen will it happen and if so when could it happen well, it, it can happen. It can happen if, if, the, if the general public are willing to take part in that survey and to feed in their views, as, along with businesses as well, as long as national organisations like Dartmoor National Park, these things uh, can work. Um, after that, we can then submit a proposal to um, the Department for Transport, um, and then we get a, an idea of whether or not it's a goer in terms of the feasibility study. You know, the money is there. The money has been committed by government, and that hasn't changed because it is a key infrastructure project. So, you know, we if we don't put in, we won't get anything. So let's 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 hope let's hope as many people as possible will take part in that survey and and share my enthusiasm for for reopening train stations. Good to speak to you. Thank you very much, Anthony Magnell, who is the MP for Totnes, which includes the village of South Brent, talking about potentially reopening Brent Station, which was last in use in 1964. It's five thirty.